Hey, what's going on, Weavers? Tim here again. Welcome to another episode of Weavers Spotlight. So today I'm doing a spotlight on Possum's Paracord. You know what? To be honest, I've never really known if the O is silent or not, but from what I've heard, if it's a possum from America, the O is silent, so it's not O-possum. It's just possum. I don't know. Anyhow, let's get into it. So Possum's Paracord is run by, I believe his name is Joshua. Correct me if I'm wrong. But... Um, Joshua is doing a lot of great work in the paracord community and I think his Instagram is also very underrated and underfollowed. Definitely deserves a lot more followers. And I say this because I've gotten a lot of inspiration from his Instagram. So that's why I wanted to do this spotlight on Possum's Paracord today. So first off, Possum's Paracord does have items for sale. So if you see anything on his uh, Instagram feed that you like, you can definitely uh, direct message him and you know see what his prices are starting off you can see he does a lot of bulk orders for um, his customers which is really cool we've got some necklaces here and these are minimalist fire starter bracelets that is super cool I like that idea really really awesome and um, I should mention that uh, back in the during the time of the fidget spinner craze I'm sure a lot of you remember that um, I Possum's Paracord was one of the first people to do a Paracord fidget spinner and because of his pictures on Instagram I was able to do a few tutorials on that so um, from what I understand uh, he is the first one to have ever done that and I've always credited him credited him uh, in my videos so um, that was pretty cool you know while it lasted now fidget spinners are kind of only played with by you know select few but anyhow uh, you know life goes on now this is something super cool I saw that I definitely want to try for myself. This is a uh, paracord trilobite bracelet, but he's got these um, leather clasps on the sides there. And those are super cool. Those look, um, they look like they're homemade. And leather work is something I've always wanted to get into just to make, you know, either minimalist wallets or little things like that. And I think this would be a really cool project to try out. And I'm probably going to get into some uh, minor or small leather stuff later on. But that is super cool. So as you can see, it's just got this leather clasp here with three eyelets. And he's used that to feed his paracord onto to make a bracelet. And that looks super comfortable. And I think it looks really stylish too. So really, really awesome design idea. Very cool. And a lot of what uh, Possum Paracord does here are these survival... Um, either lanyards or just little survival items as you can see this is fat wood here and that's great fire starter you've got the ferro rod as well and um, yeah that's a cool little fire starter kit right there super awesome and going further down the feed ah here's one of the um, fidget spinners I was talking about so this is actually a I believe it's a star knot but just done with um, multiple uh, multiple points and um, that those star nuts are actually very tricky. So to get one looking as good as this, it you know it takes a bit of practice. So definitely hats off to that. And this is a pretty cool setup here. It's got a nice lanyard with some ferro rod here, and it also holds the fidget spinner, which is really cool. And now uh, yes, the Celtic slammer here. So um, I was actually inspired by um, Joshua's tutorial on the Celtic slammer, which is why I did one on my channel. And yeah, he does have a few YouTube videos. Um, doesn't upload anymore, but. There are a few um, paracord bracelet tutorials up there, uh, especially of the you know wider kind. Now these I've seen as well. <laughs> I got you. That's funny. Um, these are like uh, dream catchers, which are really cool and intricate um, design work here. So th those are really awesome. Uh, never really been my sort of thing, but I can see the detail that goes into it, and I think it's really cool. I think it's done with micro cord and whatnot. Oh, and here is the paracord uh, wallet here. So it definitely was uh, Possum's paracord, uh, their picture that inspired me to do my tutorial on that. So that was super cool to see. And um, again, really, really awesome work. Uh, now this is really cool idea as well. So what it is, it's a bullet ca bullet casing, just the um, outer shell there. And it's filled with a kind of tiny pocket um, survival kit. So you've got some fish hooks, uh, some matches, 
and you know some fishing weights i think that's fat wood as well or some sort of fire starter and that's all housed in this little um bullet casing here and it's got paracord over it to keep it all contained so that is super cool and see these are the really awesome ideas that i'm talking about and which is why you should be following uh, possum's paracord here and i believe these are like a possum foot i guess or hand it looks like hand but uh yeah it's a possum's paw and um it's tied up with a nice lanyard here so super cool stuff so i won't spoil much more i'll let you check out possum's paracord on your own definitely give him a follow really really cool paracordist with a lot of uh, unique and interesting ideas and that's what is really awesome to see uh, when you see this innovation and this sort of ideas stuff in the paracord world so uh, definitely check him out let him know i sent you possums paracord and uh, remember that starts with an o but you can see the ig handle here and only 2486 followers as i speak very underfollowed deserves a lot more followers all right guys i hope you enjoyed this weaver spotlight thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video